on uh, two islands. New Zealand is the North Island and the South Island, so we're in the Pacific, and um, definitely the flavours from all over the South Pacific have come down to uh, to New Zealand and, and, and permeated kind of New Zealand music, really. Eh? So we we play a version of say Pacific soul and funk and reggae. But we do it with our own accent, so not, not Jamaican. Um, we don't pretend to be uh, Jamaican or anything like that. We are, we are, you know, honest to ourselves, and we speak in our own dialect and uh, do it our way. No colours really, uh, music's for everybody and um, you know you, I respect where music comes from and the different countries and, and cultures that it comes from for sure but uh, at the end of the day close your eyes and you use your ears so uh, I think that's most important. We're enjoying this great band from Benna at the moment, it's fantastic, it's great to get in the mood like that. Yeah I like to, we all like to walk around and get in the, in the vibe. Uh, and feel, you know, meet some of the people, and so we know what we're what we're up to and what we're playing to, and yeah, definitely check out some other bands and get inspired. Business has changed a lot, but the uh, basic principles are still the same. You know, you want to hear, you want to make original, great music, and you want to perform it and, and really connect with your crowd. So I think that has not changed. It's just that the way that we buy and sell music and share music is is different, and I think it's it's better. And I think we're in a transition with technology and um, sharing music. We're just right in the transition transitional period right now. But um, ultimately, music does have value, so I believe that people should be willing to pay something for good music. And uh, but at the same time, we would also share our music with as many people as we could for free, and then they'll hopefully come to our shows. So, yeah, this you know, it's been changing a lot the last five years. Yeah, we do. We've got a new album. It's called Dust and Dirt. It's our fifth studio album. Um, it's um, quite eclectic, eclectic sounding, but. Um, I think very much that the Black Seeds, um, we've you know matured as a band and, and our sounds matured, so we're really happy with it. Um, and I think that it really shows our character and personality, maybe more than some of the other albums. But yeah, I'm happy with it. What do you reckon about the album? It's great. It's, it's uh, different. It's de de definitely matured a lot since, since the previous ones. It's got a different sound and it's uh, really evolved. to see some hobbits, you know, at a, at a party, um, smoking a wee spliff and, and enjoying black seats, but I don't, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't think it's going to... Well, Gandalf's into that a bit. Gandalf might be into the black seats, I Somehow, I just can't imagine it fading up in the, in the uh, yeah. hobbit village. When um, Gandalf smokes on his pipe. Yeah, yeah, that's when it kicks in.